Put them up. Just kidding. It's me, Jake Sindler, of the web series How to Do Screenwriting Good. Today we're going to talk about action movies. Now, if you're like most people, your life is pretty boring. People don't care about you or treat you like shit. But imagine things were different, and you knew kung fu, or had a gun, or just looked like this. Yeah, now we're talking. Let's take a look at this scene written by one of the students in my class. I know you're around here somewhere, Vladimir. Come out. Fancy seeing you here, David. I thought the United States was done interfering in the affairs of small Latin American dictatorships. Maybe I'm not here representing the United States. Maybe I'm here as a private citizen. A country on the brink of revolution is unusual choice for vacation spot. But then you always were unusual. Boring. Action movies aren't about dialogue. I mean, come on, the word action is right there in the name. Those guys need to be firing at each other right out of the gate. Now there are some misconceptions about guns I'd like to clear up. Misconception number one. Important people die in shootouts. Wrong. Main characters never die in shootouts unless it's an elderly mentor type character. Misconception number two. You have to reload your gun. I don't know where this one comes from. Guns have infinite bullets. Misconception number three. Guns are loud and will make your ears ring. This one was clearly cooked up by the liberal media. Guns fire at a totally normal volume. You can even have a conversation while shooting. Let's see that scene one more time. I know you're around here somewhere, Vladimir. Come out. Fancy seeing you here, David. I thought the United States was done intervening and maybe I'm not representing the United States. Maybe I'm here as a private citizen. David, remember your basic training. A spy is just a sneaky version of a regular person. Oh. Sarge! No! <laughs> that was great, but it still won't sell. The kids aren't watching old-fashioned action movies anymore. They like big budget action movies about teenagers who get bitten by donkeys and then gain magical donkey powers. Does that mean you shouldn't write action movies? No, it just means you need to pander relentlessly to your demographic. Sexually and emotionally repressed middle-aged men who fantasize constantly about a fight breaking out and saving the day, despite the fact that they've never fought anyone in their life. Forget about writing well. Give these guys their fever dream and you'll be set. Check it. Hey, David, I just had a great idea. What if instead of fighting each other, we team up and take out our mutual enemies? Lazy millennials, mother-in-laws, and the raccoon who keeps stealing pork chops off the grill when we are not looking. I hate that raccoon so much. You've got yourself a deal. I'm not gonna join my dad's landscaping business. Instead, I'm gonna write poems about how work is a social construct. Hey, is it weird if I take my shirt off? No. We are just two hetero men who enjoy shooting guns and appreciate the male body in totally aesthetic way. Sexuality is a spectrum. 